Yo, what up, what up? It's your boy Dope King, and welcome to Dope King Divinity. This is a channel where we do intuitive messages, channel messages, car pulling in, etc. Mm -hmm. Today, um, oh, I'm so sorry, y'all. Good morning. Happy Thursday. Goddamn, I hope everybody's having a good morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you guys see this video. Um, I'm having a fantastic fucking morning. Mm -hmm. Got up super early, got a good deep meditation in. Uh, figure out, I figured out a lot of like solutions to some like problems I had with a certain shit and I'm happy about that. <laughs> so yeah, man. Uh, this morning we're gonna be doing uh, a love reading. Gonna be uh, seeing what's going on as far as uh, who is not on the collective's mind, but who, you know, has the collective on their mind. We're gonna be looking into that this morning. Um, so yeah, I was gonna start doing like channels. And well, as y'all were seeing before, I was doing channel messages, like in the beginning and stuff. I actually did get a channel message, but I'm gonna uh, start like doing separate videos for those um, sometimes and shit like that, because the videos be dumbass long. And um, yeah, it all ties together and shit like that. As y'all can see in previous videos, it really confirms to me my gifts and I'm very, you know, appreciative to God and, you know, ancestors, everybody for that, giving me those, you know, confirmations like all throughout my videos and all of that to let me know that, you know, this isn't no bullshit. And because that's what tarot is, period. It's clarification. Don't ever go to tarot looking for all your answers to life. One thing I can say, though, um, I guess this is a channel message, little channel message, just about spirituality in general, like having the uh, wherewithal to understand that, you know, everything is subjective, like include in this tarot shit, like people look at this as like demonic and stuff. Like I've heard that many times. I think I mentioned that in the previous video and it's really not like, it's light and dark to everything. And if I'm being honest and this is completely like just me being vulnerable with my um, collective and everything like that, like tarot saved my life many times bro like ever like god brought this in my life at the time that i needed it when my life was in like danger bro and shit that i knew intuitively tarot just smack dab no nigga this shit is real you're not crazy not that i ever thought i was crazy but yeah man um so just knowing that my intuition was that strong, all that shit. And honestly, I only been watching Tarot for like a year and Spirit called me to, you know, start doing this shit. So hopefully I can help whoever I can help. That's what I'm here for, bro. That's all. Yeah, I mean, I ain't trying to, uh, you know, hurt nobody, none of that shit. I just deliver truth, bro. That's what I'm about. Uh, but yes, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get into this love message. I don't want to waste no time and no shit like that. I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. I'm glad these goddamn allergies are starting to pass and shit. <sighs> goddamn. Even though, um, that, I mean, shit. Also, another message from Spirit, like, um, if you guys are on your journey, you know, following your path and all that shit, goddamn, like, people, it don't even gotta be, like, people you know at this point, um, like, spells are getting thrown out to people, bro, um, not even just people, I'm talking about, like, collectives of individuals and shit like that, and, um, yeah, I noticed that at the time that I, you know, was going through my whole little allergy shit. It was like, and people just look at it like, like I'm only saying that for the surface, but it's, everything's deeper, bro. To the degree that, um, like I thought it was just me. I'm saying like, God damn, what the fuck, da 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 da. But um, like, you'll see that other people are, you know, experiencing the same thing, especially when it's like 
people you know are good people that are bad. I don't want to get too much into that. But yeah, we gonna slide right into this motherfucking rear though. Know? But that ass though, it's early as a bitch. As always, goddamn. I just hope you guys have a good day. I'm having a good morning, man. Honestly, man, I don't think I've been like <laughs> upset at all this year, bro. Like, <laughs> I was just thinking about that yesterday, and it's such a blessing to have. Like, bro, you just gotta sit back sometimes and look at how far you've come. Like, not even just like on the surface wise, but your your mental health, dog. Like. Yeah, especially everybody in the collective and everything like that, bro. Uh, I gave, I clapped it up for y'all niggas last week, and um, I'm gonna continue to clap for y'all, bro. We gotta keep our like, just keep that shit in mind. We have good days and bad days, bro. But as you change your mindset, all that shit, even the bad days aren't that bad, bro. You know what I mean? Like, it's, bro, it's, you create your reality, my nigga. That, uh, I know I'm just talking this shit, but I, um, missed yesterday because I honestly, you know, was just chilling, bro. I ain't gonna lie to y'all niggas. I was chilling, bro. I forced myself to do anything. I felt like it was an introspection day. I had the day off, so I just, you know, connected to myself. Inner child shit, you know what I mean? Did things that I enjoyed doing and shit like that. Connected, connected. I felt like I was, um, you know, because niggas is getting spiritually attacked, bro. Like, you don't have to know the individuals doing it and shit like that. Excuse me. And but most times you do know the people I'm just saying I'm just being real cause there's a spiritual war out here and goddamn, yeah they trying to hit all the light beings bro all the light workers all the good people bro cause they're trying to change the world to that shit like man do your research <laughs> I ain't even go I ain't on that wave this morning I'm gonna keep it a buck I'm chilling 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 this morning today will be a good day dog Yes, sir. All right, my nigga. Oh, shit, I already shuffled. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, spirit, archangels, goddamn spirit gods, ancestors, thank you so much for everything that you do for me. Please keep protection over myself and over my Dope King Collective. <laughs> Team Dope in this bitch, we already out. Right, like, it's dumbass early, y'all. I just like to do this because I connect way better like this. No key, I have no flex. All right. So, Spirit, who has the collective on their mind in love currently, Spirit? Who has the collective on their mind in love? I don't know what the whoa. Fuck it. Alrighty, we have the <laughs> Ace of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. I mean, we just we gonna see. I, I asked who has the collective on the mind about them. So we're just gonna see where this is going. The Ace of Pentacles or the Ace of Diamonds that represents a new project, a prize, a possible gift, you know what I mean? A new job, so congratulations. I mean, we've been speaking about that. Um, new home, possibly. Just winning energy, you already know what time it is. Um, it does represent change, though, bro, it does. So, uh, 
I guess it was answering the questions such as like what's coming towards you in love more so than who um but I guess this is what what's coming towards you in love so far you know we just go keep it open I'm gonna ask more you know clarify everything like that um yeah it could be a possible message though someone could be sending you a message um uh, it does also represent good news about money so let's let's give it nigga let's keep that good energy you know vibrating uh -huh. Um, we have the Eight of Pentacles or the Eight of Diamonds, which represents uh, paying attention to detail, you know, being focused, practicing. Practice makes, you know, improvement. I don't, I don't believe in perfection, but we can strive for it. You know what I mean? Be honest with you. You're always going to be, just try to be the best possible person you can be at any moment. That's, that's really what that means to me, at least. Um, and it could represent a new job. So remember that's that's two confirmations on the job thing, bro. So let's fucking get it. You know what I mean? Whatever you're working on or whatever you were, you know, you looked for or whatever. You know what I mean? Type shit. Cause love can mean anything as far as like you being passionate about your career and stuff like that. Stay optimistic. I, I know shit might look slow even if it's flourishing man keep that good energy in your shit so it can continue to flourish but it's a reason for everything and if it's not culminating as fast as you really wanted to it, it'll get there it'll definitely get there okay um but it does also represent like change of career so i was just speaking on that if you were thinking about changing your career and if god is telling you you know to go in that direction bro don't be scared just start, you know what I mean? The rest of the information will be delivered to you. I promise that's how God get down. Definitely. And I love that energy. Um, but it could also represent training and um, teaching. So um, that's also very fucking good. You feel me? I love it. I really love it. I really love it. Um, but this also could represent um, the possibility of finding love on a trip. So um a trip could represent like a trip to the store a trip you know to work a trip to you know see uh you know see relatives see friends just a trip in general or it could you know represent an actual trip um the ace of pentacles with the eight of pentacles if i'm reading it this way because this is a love reading um you could be going on a trip soon you know what i mean uh this could represent a message coming to you about someone wanting to take a trip either with you or towards you or something like that maybe um they could be yeah trying to gift you something you may get a message about a gift which could be like a trip or some shit like that dog um that's pretty optimistic but we we want to find out who this is so that's what's up though if that's coming towards the collective and love then that's really really fucking good we go keep that good energy vibrating so that we can attract the best things to us man that's how that's how it goes that's literally how it goes aces represent new beginnings though you know what i mean so so you know what i mean that's really good if, yeah, if y'all were feeling you know an energy of just wanting new in general Let's get it. We already been feeling that energy. Let's go. Okay. So, next is, uh, I get, I want to ask, uh, who is the Eight of Pentacles? Or, yeah, who is the Eight of Pentacles? Um, Ace of Pentacles energy. Who is the Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles energy? Spirit. Who is the Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles energy? Spirit. Who is the Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles energy? Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Brody. So what the fuck? Yeah, I ain't. Hold up real quick. I gotta see. Um I gotta see something. Cause I'm trying to get, you know, as much information as I can through these playing cards and shit like that. Yeah, you know I mean, before I finally get in a place to like get a tarot deck and shit like that. I don't use like Amazon and now all that dumb shit. I just got to find a time. Spirit to guide me to whatever deck, I, deck you know, it'll, it'll come in my life as it needs to type of shit to be real with you. Um, that's how God gets down to my life. 
the older one real quick. Because tens represent completion, Brody. And you know, um hold on. Yeah, they represent completion, new beginnings, but it could represent new endings as well. So it is what it is, but it definitely represents completion. So completion of a cycle, completion of, you know, reaching whatever. Like, I, I got to read it, but I, I have to see something. But I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was just, you know. Yeah. Okay. I just had to make sure something real quick. See, okay, see, and that, I, I forgot to look that shit up and see what that really is, but honestly, okay, whatever. It is. This, with uh, the Ace of Pentacles with the uh, Ten of Hearts is, um, that means romance lead in the marriage. So, you know what I mean? That's what's really good. Like, I really like to see that, man. I really do. Um, but I knew it was like, so I need to see, but I didn't know if that was on the pull or not. I know it was like that. That's just something to throw out there. This is a love um, reading. So if that uh, resonates, then that's really good. And shit like that. Okay, okay. God damn it, yes. Um, see. So we have the Ten of Spades or the Ten of Swords. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, tens represent worry and bad news. Um, it represents giving up. It represents uh, victimization, <laughs> imprisonment, whether that be uh, in spiritual jail type shit or in literal fucking jail. Um, it also represents like the only way is up type shit. Like only up from here type shit. Da 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 da. Well, see uh, about all of that this could be like in the reverse you know with these cards you can't really tell or shit but whatever it's nigga um yeah we also have the queen of pentacles we have who this energy is and shit um queen of pentacles or the queen of diamonds that uh that's a practical warm person um a home lover a motherly type of individual so this could be a mother or mother figure um but they're dependable or whatever but this could be also like this could also represent a gossiper you know what i mean um it could have earth, you know, in their chart somewhere or whatever. Yeah, you know what I mean, so, okay. This is the energy that's coming towards the collective. Remember, you know, the new, the good shit with, as far as like money projects, it's going to be like, you know, gifting and shit, but the Square of the Pentacles seems to be in the Ten of Swords energy from what I'm seeing. Um, but well, I'm gonna pull more, bro. This might end up being a long reading. Um, and then we have the Ten of Cups or the Ten of Hearts. And the Ten of Cups uh, represents contentment, fulfillment, joy. Yeah, you know I mean, um, could represent family though. So. I mean, like I said, love, oh, well, I didn't really say that. I should, you know, specify that. Like, love could be, you know, anybody as far as love. That could be family, relatives, um, no matter who it is. It could be multiple relatives, shit like that. Um, could also be, you know, friends. It could be like a love relationship, though. But I, I asked who is on the, not, not who is on the collective's mind. Like, you got to keep that in um mind as well not who is on the collective mind but who is you know who has the collective on their mind that's what i asked so yeah this could be family that this is talking about um 
or whatever is like that. But this is a um, also like with fulfillment and shit like that. So what it's looking like to me though is this Queen of Pentacles, right? Is like give and you know giving up. They're trying to play victim is what it seemed like, uh, playing the martyr type shit. You feel me? You feel me? Um, like having mental breakdowns and they could be going to jail. Could be going to jail soon, Brody. Uh oh. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I mean whatever, dog. But yeah, uh, but definitely a spiritual jail is what it seems like. Um, and it was red. It came out this way. So the way I'm looking at this is like holding love back type shit. You get what I'm saying? Like not really. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, they're in spiritual jail. Uh, most likely or in physical jail we don't really know for sure um, but yeah it could be they're feeling this way about your uh, ten of cups like you know your fulfillment your joy and shit remember this could be multiple people though uh, two tens came out so that could be ten individuals twenty individuals um could also be eight individuals as this came out, but I mean, it's definitely looking like more so family, uh, someone in your family, someone close to your family. You remember, it's like friends, you know, could be a co worker, anything, you know, somebody that you, I guess, love or had love for, shit like that. Um, it's really poking out, looking like a mother figure, though, like someone that played a mother role in your life that could be an aunt. That could be a mom. That could be anybody, but definitely represents like I'm. I'm feeling family in this. For real, for real. But yes, um, yeah, they probably they probably received some bad news and they're worried about that. Feeling in prison and shit like that. They're probably having new endings, and you're having a new beginning as you definitely can see right here. You're having a new beginning. That's what that came out for but this person is having new endings in their life which I mean shit is just balancing out that's a little to me 10 and 10 ending beginning you know what I mean like that's how that looks to me bro to be real um but yes yeah, so we're gonna pull more real quick on this energy Let's see who this real who this really is I'm sorry y'all can see better like that probably can't but yeah I mean whatever okay so spirit uh can you give me more on this queen of diamonds please more on the queen of pentacles please Ooh, one popped out we have the nine of swords <laughs> Or the nine of spades. <laughs> so, damn, that represents nightmares, problems, worry, guilt. You motherfucker, guilty. <laughs> it represents uh, anxiety, depression, goddamn, illness, possibly. So, this person could possibly be ill. Um, an accident, damn. Uh, you know, send your hearts out to people like we don't we don't do that on this channel. We're not wishing anybody any bad, never did, never will. You feel me? Um But anything that's happening, you know, especially out of anything that's out of your control, bro, when people do shit it's called karma. So we'll see where this reading goes, but it's definitely popping out talking some shit about this person in particular. This person in particular, dog, but it's definitely like it could be multiple people, dog. So keep that in mind. Um, shit, but yeah, bad luck uh, and someone at rock bottom, dog. Um, shit. <sighs> so okay, I can't really just okay. Whatever, y'all can see it like that, right? Cool. 
Um, hopefully it don't slip and fall. Cause it's on the edge now. Um, all right. So we're gonna go ahead and move this energy like closer to over here. I'm sorry y'all, but I'm gonna have to place these over here cause I know I'm gonna have to show y'all some more cards but I don't wanna knock them down. I'm gonna find a better way to, uh, you know, set it up and shit. I just didn't really have the time to, uh, you know, do something like that. Anyways, so let's see now. We got word, yo. Uh, can you give me why? Why is this person in worry and despair? Why is this person in the nine of swords energy spirit? Why is this person in the nine of swords energy? Oh shit, see now. Nah. Like, I'm down there, the whole deck that came out of shit. But I see these three cards that flipped out in my hand, so I'm gonna take those. But, fuck. <laughs> Chaos, nigga. It's motherfucking chaotic in this motherfucking person world right now. Just know that. Just know that. This person, all these people, is going crazy. Yo, this bitch. Let me, let me see if I got all the cards, bro. Oh, shit. Yeah, I got them. All right, bet. Sorry about that, you guys. So, we got... Well, they actually, you know what I mean, like this or whatever. And that's the second time, actually, that we got, you know, double cards with, you know, like, that's crazy, right? So, it's clarifying these right here. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Sorry about that, guys. Um, all right. So, we have the... Jack of Diamonds, the Six of um, Clubs, and the Jack of Hearts, which is also the uh, Knight of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, and the Knight of Cups. And this is definitely uh, two separate individuals. <sighs> definitely two separate individuals now. So we about to get in some tea. All right, I can already tell that. Yeah, you know I mean? that's gonna be a pretty long bit, but I don't mind. Hey. All right. So we have the Jack of Diamonds, which is also uh, the Knight of uh, Pentacles. So we have a queen of pentacles and now we have a knight. So this could be, you know, this person's, uh, you know, child, maybe so. Like, that's speaking to me like that. Anyways, um, goddamn. The knight of pentacles represents a reliable, hard working, loyal individual. You know what I mean? A person that uh, could, I mean, that's, okay, yeah, with the attributes hitting my God, you know what I mean? It's a quiet person, uh, and they got hidden depths to them, definitely. Um, but this could also represent in the reverse, which, you know what I mean? That's the energy that I got from seeing both of these nights, to be honest with you, dog. Um, so, anyways, uh, we have, uh, what was I saying? I'm sorry, y'all. Um, yeah, this could also represent, though, a jealous person, bro, an unreliable individual, which is more so what I was feeling off the energy of this card, to be real. Um, yeah, a reli unreliable, jealous individual. This is a person that brings negative news, but it's relatively minor. You know what I mean? It's, especially, like, you know, how the collective sees shit, you know, it handles energy. I mean, glass half full type shit. We ain't worried about it too much. But, um, yes, this person is a jealous individual or, you know, one of those individuals. But this is like pointing out, you know, individuals at this point with this shit. And I, I'm liking that spirit is doing this today. 
<laughs> to be real, that's what's up. Um, yeah. Uh, so that's this individual, a jealous motherfucker. We we gonna keep that there. This could possibly be the child of this queen of pentacles. Remember, these are just energies. So it could be male or female. This could be like a mom. Like this is a mother figure. So it could be a, a mom, a aunt. You know, anybody that played a mother role in your life, like you could have had someone that you're not related to that played that role, you know, type shit in your life too. Like just keep it broad, be as open, like keep your mind open. Not just say be negative and shit, but you know, you gotta be real with yourself out here, bro. People look at life a lot differently nowadays, bro. And it's literally like dog eat dog world type shit. So when niggas don't wanna work for themselves and shit, and these are people that, to me, these energies are like reversed energies to me. Of course, despair, nightmares, and all this sick ass shit, bro. This is a queen of pentacles in the motherfucking reverse, bro. You know what I mean? This shit is sad. You know what I mean? That person is, you know what I mean? Queen of pentacles in the motherfucking reverse. You know what I mean? Um, that's also earth energy. Could be um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Could not be. They got earth highly aspected in the chart. The, um, why, uh, the pentacles is also. You know, this is another shit. They could have Earth possibly in their chart as well. You know what I mean? Shit like that. Um, or they, you know, they could be Earth signs, predominantly Sun sign, but you know, having Earth in the chart predominantly could be Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury. You know what I mean? Saturn, just shit like that. Normal, whatever. Um, yeah. So we got that individual. Sorry to chill off like that. I just. No, like, I'm trying to give a deep read. I woke up extra early for this shit. You know what I mean? Fuck that. <laughs> um, we have the Six of Wands as well. <sighs> Sorry about that. <laughs> smoke my shit uh, a lot of y'all yeah um so sorry about that we have the six of clubs or the six of wands that represents victory achievement passing exams success you know what i mean um could represent financial aid as well so this is in between these two or whatever um we'll see something we'll see because i'm starting to get a little picture from it low key um and then we have the jack of hearts or the knight of cups and that represents um you know a person that falls in love easily you know it, it's a romantic person could represent like a chatterbox and shit like that um it's a good friend you know what I mean? But this person has short-term affairs. They're just in love with being in love, not even necessarily on some, you know what I mean, whatever shit, right? Right, cool, okay. Um, but this could be an admirer, so this person definitely could be admiring you. You know what I mean? This person is jealous of you, definitely. This person's a bitch-ass nigga. We, we, <laughs> we get that. <laughs> and then we have there's not a cup though god damn and that's whatever that is with that person person could be a water sign cancer pisces scorpio god damn had it highly aspected in the chart all that good ass shit you know what i mean it is what it is though this person is definitely admiring you i'm feeling that um it does represent also a person that wants forgiveness so this person wants your forgiveness Whoever this energy is, uh, male or female, because these are, you know, energies. These two individuals are definitely a masculine energy, as this one, who's definitely like a mother figure for sure, is what I'm feeling. They could just, you know, have children or, you know, shit like that. But these two energies are in a masculine energy. Um, and yes, with the six of, uh, with the six being in between that, right? Um, let's see real quick. 
sixes uh, represent harmony or like yearning for harmony and shit like that. Um, so this person might be feeling that. Uh, I feel like this person might be feeling that on the scale, but that jealousy and shit is what's keeping them held back from, you know, a lot of shit probably, you know what I mean? I'm gonna pull on both of these individuals further, but I'm going to clarify this uh, six of um, wands real quick. Spirit, please clarify the six of wands, please. Please clarify the six of wands, spirit. Oh, shit, flip. And we have the fool. And I'm feeling like this might be um, maybe the uh, person that's, because it's upside down or whatever, um, could be a fool in reverse. But, um, could just be a fool, bro. Um, yeah. And this is clar clarifying the uh, six of wands. So it could be fucking, I need to clarify again, bro. Sorry about that. Uh, I gotta clarify again. Cause the fool represents, right? Oh, well, nah, let's, let's, <laughs> let's see, bro. Let's see, bro. Sorry. Um, the fool represents like unlimited potential uh, could represent endings for new beginnings and shit so these people could be like ending and the uh, knight of cups wants a new beginning but that's just me being you know reading the card a little bit um, but it could also represent um, like foolishness and being unknowing and shit like that um but it could also represent something unexpected that may occur and it's uncontrolled. So it's looking like divine intervention type shit. And with it being with the uh, six of wands, like, what the fuck? Okay, I'm seeing it like, <laughs> to be real, this was a foolish thing that was going on, right? Between this. The way that I'm seeing it, and that's how I was uh, looking at it before, honestly. Um, when I seen this jealous motherfucker come out, right? And then you got this person. So the way that I'm seeing it is, huh? Got a little, you know what I mean? A little picture right here. So this Queen of Pentacles, right? Provided financial aid, nigga, to these people, these two. So this person paid these two people, right? And that it was financial aid for them. So she paid them um, thinking there was going to be victory and achievement. You know what I mean? They were going to have success and shit like that, right? Right. But it was foolish. It was a foolish decision. <laughs> it was a foolish decision. Definitely, if it was like that. And it was a big risk, but they were optimistic about it. Yeah. So it was like a sure thing in these three people's minds. Um, you could have had love for all three of these people and they snaked you. Um, yeah, and this person was the, you know, head of it all. Remember, this could be... So, okay, uh, this could be this person's child, like I said, whether that be male or female, right? And then this person over here could be like the love interest or a love interest that, you know, is admiring you and shit, right? Cool, yeah, being, that's that. So something happened where this person, this queen of pentacles and the reverse is how I'm seeing it. Um, yeah, paid these two. And it was a foolish fucking decision. <laughs> That's how I'm seeing that, let go. So we are gonna keep that shit over here like that. And I know y'all can't see it, I'm so sorry y'all, but if I gotta refer back to any of them, I'll definitely, uh, you know, bring it back for y'all. <laughs> for sure. So yeah, we're gonna go deeper, bro. <laughs> we're gonna go deeper for sure. So, what was the plan? What was the plan that they had? 
why did this person, why did the Queen of Pentacles pay the uh, Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups? Why did she pay them, Spirit? Please give me clear and precise messages to get it collected. Why did she pay them? Yes, sir. We have another six that came out. So it just goes back to that harmony shit. Um, I, that's gonna be prevalent some way in this shit. <laughs> it's gonna be prevalent some fucking way. <clears throat> but yes, we have the uh, six of diamonds or the six of uh, pentacles. And that represents giving or receiving money, bro. Like, I mean, we probably got to see, but yeah, giving or receiving money could represent a pay raise, uh, obtaining resources, though, charity. It could also represent, though, relationship problems, arguments and shit, and separation. You know what I mean? So, the way that I'm saying this, of course, like, we already established that she gave these two people money, right? Um, but the way that I'm saying it is that she, this person, <laughs> paid these two individuals, right, to cause separation. That was it. Like, she paid these two people to cause relationship problems. You know what I mean? But I feel like she paid, like, she paid this person to cause the separation and shit, right? And cause problems and arguments within your relationship with the Knight of Cups. That's what happened. But both of them were paid though. That's what I'm saying. Like this person was paid to leave you. And I think I said that in a previous fucking video. This person got paid to leave you. So this person took money to leave you, bro. And now they're admiring you and shit like that, which isn't, that don't mean shit. You know what I mean? What the fuck if they, you know what I mean? Not not even on the whole and rush shit. We moving forward. Like, this is new shit. You're going to receive good shit regardless. Just keep that in mind. This is spirit just, you know, giving the collective tea on, the, you know, the situation and shit. We grown out here. Let's go. Uh, but yeah. And they were very optimistic about it, but it was a foolish decision to do it. For sure, for sure. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna pull more on it though because I want to dig real quick I'm weak I'm weak more on the six of pentacles please spirit more on the six of pentacles <laughs> nigga we just out bro and I was actually I didn't even go go there like spirit be working with me we have the five of pentacles or the five of diamonds bro that represents loss of possessions job or money you know what i mean need a help destitution it could though represent happiness and success sorry about that <laughs> uh change for better it could represent a birth, um, and it does represent a good time for new projects, but not really feeling that. This card in general uh, means, you know, lost possessions, job, or money, right? Um, yeah, so what I'm seeing this as, you know, uh, they paid these two, you know, she paid this per the Queen of Pentacles paid the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups to, well, the Knight of Cups got paid, the Knight of Cups, bro, got paid to separate from you. That was that, right? Being, um, this person got paid to call the separation and shit like that, but the whole, the whole, like, point of all of the shit, bro, was to cause you to be in the Five of Cups. I mean, sorry, y'all, the Five of Pentacles energy. You know, you they wanted you to lose all your possessions, uh, lose your job, <laughs> lose money, of course, and wanted you to be in like a a begging state, you know what I mean? Needed help and shit like that. And it was orchestrated for that. So, I mean, if you're a part of this collective, if you really are, you know, on this journey and you went through this shit, blah, 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 then you know what 
you know what I mean by all of this and shit like that. Cool. But it could also go in the direction of, because I'm reading it in like a past energy sense. This could be current energy, bro, of what's coming towards you as well. Like, because this obviously is what's coming, you know, and shit like that. The Ace of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. And, um, yeah, current energy for all of that. Um, but this is definitely, I think this is past energy because this person is in the Ten of Swords, you know what I mean? About your wish fulfillment and shit like that. The fact that you're still going to get it after she paid these individuals to do this to you. But what I'm saying is she could possibly be paying them again to do it again. So be mindful of that. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. That's definitely what I'm saying. But I'm definitely going to pull further on it and then get outcomes and shit like that so we could go get the whole story of this. All right. So, um, yeah. That's what happened with this shit. That's what it's looking like. Um, yeah. Call, they wanted this, the Knight of Cups to separate from you and this person that just, you know, cause problems in your life and shit like that. They are the one that, uh, this person probably lied to that individual as well to make them do that. That's why this Knight of Cups is admiring you and shit like that at this point or you know, whatever. Um, yeah. So that's what that was. All right. We're going to pull the energies on these two um, nights so we can see, you know, intentions and shit like that, bro. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what the fuck is going on. So, uh, can you give me more on this Knight of Pentacles? That's a little bang. <laughs> Knight energy. Both of them little energy. You know what I mean? They're knights, bro. <laughs> oh, anyway... More on the Knight of Pentacles, please. More on the Knight of Pentacles, spirit. Thank you, spirit. Bro, why is this coming? Bro, look, look at this shit, bro. We got the seven of pentacles, bro. So, but as you can see, bro, all the fuck that's out here is straight pentacles, bro. And it's straight pentacles coming up, bro. And nigga, look, nigga, five, six, seven, bro. What the hell? You know what I mean? Hold on, real quick. I gotta see if that if that means anything, bro. Set the seven, eight of diamonds, and the spread. And I don't know if this like is separate spread, like I said, but I mean, this is, I guess, a whole spread, so fuck that. Um, the seven, eight of diamonds uh, represent like, don't spread gossip and shit. That's like, a, you know, just like, so you know, don't spread any gossip, which I don't feel like my collector does. We, you know, worried about ourselves over here and shit. We ain't got time for that. But it could be a warning to these individuals on some shit, but it is, it, fuck that. Um, yeah, but it represents karma. So these individuals over here, you know what I mean? All over here. Sorry, you can't even really see this shit like that. But all of these individuals, these three people, or, you know, it could be multiple people, bro, than that. Um, yeah, they're receiving karma and shit like that. That's what's going on. You feel me? For all of the shit, you know, this plan I just, you know, told y'all about. And, yeah, so that's karma, bro. But uh, I had to see that real quick. And then... Let me see real quick. Let's see. All right, yeah, whatever. All right. So, the seven of diamonds or the seven of pentacles, that represents reassessment, a turning point, mild dissatisfaction you feel me um it could represent being materially well off but wanting to grow spiritually you feel me 
but yet yeah, not. Nah. <laughs> it could also represent arguments concerning finances or, you know, at work or whatever. Excuse me. Excuse me, sorry, y'all. Um, yeah, it definitely uh, represents, um, like, yeah, concerns and shit financially, though. Um, these people could be arguing about finances and shit. You know what I mean? Um, I clarified the five, uh, the six. I clarified the six with the five. Um, they wanted you to, you know, lose. They paid. She paid them to get you to lose money. You know, lose your job possibly. You know what I mean? Walk away from you know your shit and you didn't. You know what I mean? Because we don't move like that over here, my like, nigga. And then you got you know losing money and shit. So this person was probably the person that, you know, was trying to cause you to lose money and shit. But we're abundant and abundance never stops, especially when it's abundance from the Lord. You're getting it from the right place and shit like that. But whatever. Um, yeah. And uh, let me see again. Uh, yeah, they wanted you to stop like your projects and shit like that. And that's basically what that was. But they're arguing about all of that at this point that's what's going on with that um because it didn't fucking work you feel me and they're having you know a lot of problems they wanted you to you know have troubles at your work but the karma is running back to their ass pretty much. oh no 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 shit i also uh pulled i pulled this for um this individual though so i was just reading it as a you know as a fact with that uh, the five, six, seven, and shit, which is where how that came out, but um, yeah, this person, this individual, had you, you know, what I mean, I mean, sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> this person is our. This person is having arguments concerning finances. This person is having arguments concerning work and shit like that. Yeah, you know I mean what they were what they were quote unquote hired to do to you is happening to them. It's karma for them. That's what's going on. Um they're probably materially well off, but they're not spiritually, you know, good at all. You feel me? Um they have to, you know, reassess what they're doing and shit like that. Or they're probably at a state where they're reassessing what they did. And there's definitely a turning point in this person's life. So if they were materially well off, it's not finna go so good or it's not going so good. And I'm about to I'm about to clarify that real quick. I'm about to clarify that. Yeah, clarify the seven of diamonds for me. Please clarify the jack. Let's get it. Yeah, fuck that. We got the Six of Swords or the Six of Pentacles. This shit crazy. Uh, this represents moving on, uh, possible travel, feeling mentally better. Um, and also like small changes and improvements or whatever. Um, but if uh, I'm reading it with this Seven of uh, Pentacles, This person is having a turn point in their life where they probably, <coughs> excuse me, they're probably wanting to walk away from, they want to walk away from, you know, that situation because they're now, you know, having arguments over the finances and shit like that. And I mean, both of these people are looking to Well, all three of them are looking towards, you know, the collective energy, like the collective's energy and shit. They're looking over there, but, um, hold on, let me tap in. <laughs> let me tap in. Hmm. Yeah, they're trying to make improvements and small changes in their life and shit. You know what I mean? Uh, they're jealous and shit 
But that's what I'm saying. I don't think it's reading it like that. I think this person is not changing at all. That's what I'm saying. Like, this person isn't changing. They're not making no better decisions and shit. You feel me? Um, this person's in a sick mental state. You know what I mean? And they're not trying to move on from it. That's what it's looking like to me. They're not trying to move on from doing what they did. They want to keep it going. They want... They're trying to reassess, you know, their strategy and shit, because it's a turning point going. But they, you know, are arguing and shit and going through problems. That's what this person's going through. That's what that looks like to me. And they don't want to walk away from, you know, doing that because they're jealous. Shit like that. That's what that is. <laughs> Spirit, can you give me more on the Knights of Hearts, please? Can you give me more on the Knight of Cups? All right, fuck it. We have the King of Pentacles. So, the King of Pentacles represents a self-made business owner. Uh, definitely uh, works hard for all of their achievement. Uh, could be a person with Earth, you know, predominantly in their chart or, you know, Earth sign, um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But um, I clarified it for this Knight of Cups. So it, it's looking like to me that this person has bread, of course, because they got paid and shit, obviously, whatever the fucking case. But they're admiring you. And this person is also a King of Pentacles. So they're a knight when it comes to emotion. But, you know, with the material, I guess, there, you know, they got, you know, they got it together and shit. Um, let me see more on that. Uh, yeah, but they think money solves shit. You know what I mean? And that's not, that's not good, bro, to think like that. <laughs> For any cross watchers and shit, that's not a good way to think, bro. Coming as a knight in your emotion definitely ain't gonna help you, especially in the case if you're like admiring this individual, but you got paid to put this person in destitute, which is the, the truth about that. Um, as far as the collective, you know what I mean? You you lead your own life, bro, but self-worth is a big fucking thing. And you in a place of working on yourself and doing all that shit, bro. And you're working towards achieving this Ace of Pentacles, bro. You know what I mean? That's what you're working on your projects and new shit. You your shit. You you're working towards change and change is definitely coming towards you and shit like that. But it could represent a message coming towards you about money and shit. So this person could be trying to, you know, work with you and shit like that. Or, you know, all three of these individuals could possibly want that, but you gotta use your discernment and know what's good. That's why we're here right now, shit like that, seeing what's going on. Honestly, y'all, I don't, I don't pull off camera. You know what I mean? Like that's what I'm saying. Like I was literally called to do this. When I do this shit, I be called to do it, and I really enjoy doing it. But yeah, you know I mean, I like, I'm a spontaneous individual. I like surprises, even though I don't. Like I spend so much time in my life as a person, like wanting to know so much that it left me in like overthinking places and shit where you know it hindered my progress from the present. You feel me? and that's not a good place to be so yeah but definitely i already said that in the beginning that tarot has saved my life many times and shit like that so you know i'm trying to help the collective out and everything we're all going through the same shit at different times like just like that's what i'm saying the pure souls out here the ones that move you know genuinely and try not to hurt nobody don't be doing shit to nobody shit like that <coughs> excuse me but yeah, dog, to be real with you. Um, damn right. But yeah, we got three sixes coming out here, so these people probably want harmony and shit, but that don't, that ain't what's going on and they shit, they're yearning for it, but that's not in their world looking like at the moment. Um, yeah, sorry about that. But yeah, this person thinks that money probably is soft shit. Uh, but it could be a man of authority and status and shit. So, you know, or a woman, you know, this is just energy. 
versus a heavy masculine energy. Yeah. We're gonna uh, we're gonna pull one more on this <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry y'all. Niggas don't want me to speak. Yeah. So Spirit, can you give me more on this Knight of Cups, King of Pentacles energy, please? Can you give me more on this Knight of Cups, King of Pentacles energy? We got two that came up. We have the Three of Wands and the Six of Cups. Or the Three of Clubs and the Six of Hearts. The Three of Wands represents uh, leadership, hard work paying off. Uh, it could represent a successful marriage. It could represent exploration, right? And it could also represent a second chance, particularly, you know, in your finances and shit. Um, so I'm not going to, you know, go there yet, but I'm going to um, see what this is as well. So this person, oh, sorry. <laughs> the Six of Cups represents uh, like childhood memories and shit. You know, feeling like child like a child and shit. Um, it represents a nostalgia, uh, good memories. It could represent an old friendship with something. Goddamn, sort of good luck. Um, someone taking care of you. It could represent being love sick as well, revisiting the past, and it could also represent an old flame returning, bro. So. So, I mean, I won't feel like go there and shit, but like this is just all confirmation for me because I know if you found my channel and shit, dog, um, obviously you watch Tarot and you watch other readers or, you know, because y'all see my other messages for the karmics and shit. I don't, I don't bet. Yeah, you know I mean, I'll be going in and shit, but yeah, if you found my channel, all that shit, it's for a reason, y'all. And if you do, um, then you know that this shit is real because y'all y'all have seen this and other people really like I'm not I'm not copying I'm not doing none of that shit and y'all see I'm using plan like I, I I'm tapped in dog I am you know what I mean but yeah so this could be your twin flame bro this could be your twin bro for people who have met their twin already it could be a higher level soulmate could have been you know just a soulmate that you met in the past depending on who you are and you know where you are in your journey and shit but yes um <laughs> this could be your twin bro your masculine or feminine but she's a heavily heavy masculine energy my nigga um yeah but this person is feeling very fucking nostalgic over you to you know replaying the good memories that y'all had and shit like that um yeah bro but it look, it's looking like they want to take care of you, bro. Just some shit like that, bro. And they're feeling lovesick over you, man. <laughs> For anybody that that makes, you know, if y'all were wondering and y'all, you know, like that type of shit, y'all wanted that type of shit going on and shit, then there you go. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, they want to like have a successful marriage with you and they probably like want to help you out you know what i mean give you a second chance as far as with money and shit like that bro you know what i mean and that's you know it's a, i mean it just depends how you take it bro you know what i mean we're all different people and shit and this is a like no you know, it's general. It's not a no sign thing. This is just a, my, you know, my collective of individuals, bro, that resonate with, you know, this shit. So, yeah, bro, this person wants to come towards you. They want to help you out. They want to give you a new chance, new start and shit. They're admiring you. Um, yeah, but this person also probably thinks that money solves everything. So you got to be you know, aware of that. Because they're just a night with the emotions, bro. But it's like, to me, 
this person seems like they're like a, a you know, like a little childish, bro, a little childish in the love department, like you know, you know what I'm saying, bro? Like that's probably the reason that they got they left you for money and shit. Just childish in the love department, but they want to help you and shit. They want to... It could represent them, though, wanting a short-term affair with you, though. And that's not good, bro. And they fall in love easily and shit. So remember that and shit. But after all of this transpired and all of that, I don't think necessarily that this person is trying to, you know, just come in and out with some shit at it. Or, you know, how I've read it again, like, this person could be getting paid to do this, bro. So, remember, both of these people could be getting paid to come in to do it. So, let's not go too far with it. But we got to remember that this person is feeling like this currently about all of this shit. So, definitely, let's stay optimistic. This shit could just be in the past. And um, now, currently, these people are feeling fucked up and shit. This uh, Knight of Pentacles. Oh shit, sorry. The Knight of Pentacles doesn't want to give up on the shit, but you know what I mean? It, they got to. It is what it is, bro. It is what it is. It is what it is. They feeling like that. Uh, yeah. They're trying to reassess what they're going to do. It's like a turning point in their life and shit. And they're having dissatisfaction about it. And they're just arguing concerning money and shit like that. They could be arguing with the uh, with the Knight of Cups about wanting to come towards you and shit with that. You know what I mean? Whatever the case, blah, blah, blah. Could be, could not be. We'll see. But yeah, as far as the energy for this Knight of Cups, King of Pentacles energy, God damn. Yeah, they want to take the lead and possibly give you, you know, a second chance in your finances, bro. They want to have a successful marriage with you. Um, yeah, bro. Just depending on who you are, how you feel about all of this shit. You know what I mean? Because what the fuck? You feel me? Like, just, you know, take that into consideration, my nigga. Just being the person that, you know, like, I'm trying to be broad and open and, you know, everything with it. Like, this person still is a childish person in their emotions, but if they did all of this and they're looking at you now and seeing what's good and shit, they could possibly want to grow spiritually with you and, you know, build that. And this is, this is a soulmate or a twin, bro. And that's for sure, bro. That's for sure. So if you still are on this twin flame journey or want to do it, like it's all free will on your side. You did what you did. These people received their karma and shit. So this car person karma might be to have to watch you and all that shit. They have to, you know what I mean? Go through whatever they got to go through. Because all the sixes that came out now, you know what I mean? So these people are yearning for harmony, bro. But that might be their karma to have to yearn for harmony, bro. And they're not going to receive it. They want harmony from you, and that might not happen, bro. It just might not happen, to be real. Just to be real, bro. You got to use your discernment, because definitely these people want to come towards you. This is the people that are, like, you're on their mind, bro. And you're probably, like, that's possibly the karma. They just have you on their mind, bro. And, I mean, what is there to really say? You feel me? It ain't, you know what I mean? <laughs> It is what it is. But we're gonna pull like intentions on them real quick. I hope this video don't go to like two hours and shit, but we'll try to get it at 1.30, maybe. I just wanna pull quick intentions on these people and then we gonna get out of here. You know what I mean? Um, I'll pull the outcome as well and then we're gonna get out of here. So, what are the intentions of the Queen of Pentacles spirit? What are the current intentions of the Queen of Pentacles? What are the current intentions of the Queen of Pentacles? Spirit, what are 
the current intentions of the Queen of Pentacles. And we have the Seven of Cups or the Seven of Hearts. That represents daydreaming, uh, going astray, having feeling-based choices, being indecisive, um, having wishful thinking, you know what I mean? Um, but it could uh, represent also a fickle, unreliable person, a wishy-washy individual. So this person is trying to come in being fickle, wishy-washy, bro. They want you to trust them and shit. And yeah, nah, nigga, like what the fuck? Especially if you know who this person is. This this person's mother figure could possibly be your motherfucking mother. Or, you know, someone that played that role in your life. Like, but it's definitely a mother figure. So it's broad for different situations and shit, but this could definitely possibly be for most of us, our, you know, your mom and shit like that. Um, this person's definitely uh, overly concerned with superficial shit. So that's that's that for this individual, this bitch. Like, that's that for this motherfucker. That's that for that. Seven of uh, cups for this person. Yep. <laughs> definitely going astray in their daydreaming. Because they're in this energy. Like, the only hope that they got is to be a fickle person like try to you know switch they motion again like come towards you acting like they you know on your side cool with you all this other shit they just want to be attached to your wish fulfillment and shit it is what it is but it is don't don't let this person come back if you bro if you learned your lessons in the garden and all that shit like you cleared that shit you are into these cycles lead us like, I'm sorry to say it, if this is your mom, you got to cut this bitch off, bro. I'm sorry not to call your mom a bitch, dog, but <laughs> it is better off that this person isn't in your life. They're fickle. They're, they will switch up on you, and obviously they, they run a mastermind that paid these two people to do this. I wouldn't even say really mastermind because they're fucking retarded, but goddamn, yeah, going this far and doing all of this to put you in destitute and all of that. And it didn't even work, you know what I mean? It is what it is, you feel me? A lot of us have karmic mothers, bro. A lot of us have karmic families, as I spoke on many times on this channel, you know? But if this is your mom, then this could possibly be your motherfucking brother or sister, nigga. Like, let's, let's be open. Let's be real with this shit. So, yeah, bro. <laughs> and it makes a lot of sense. And this person don't want to walk away from the plan at all. They want to keep trying and doing all this funny ass shit. And that's why all of this disharmony is happening between them because the Knight of Cups, this individual wants to stop. This person wants to come towards you and, you know, shit. But we can pull their attention on this motherfucker too. And this motherfucker ain't motherfucking all sunshines and rainbows either, you feel me? Uh, especially being that Knight of Cups. <laughs> so it is what it is. But yeah. This person, um, let me see. Yeah, having wishful thinking, definitely wishful thinking. They were wishful thinking doing this dumbass shit. <laughs> so it is what it is. And definitely feeling indecisive on it because they already know what's good. They already, bro, they already try, like, bro, sit your ass down, man. Just sit your ass down. <laughs> Moving on to this Knight of Pentacles. Ooh, easy. Yeah, I mean, you have to ask the question. We have the two of hearts or the two of um, motherfucking cups. This could represent, uh, well, it represents deepening the attraction, uh, having a mutual attraction. Uh, could represent support from a partner and shit like that. Uh, this person. I mean, it's looking like these two people want to come towards you and work with you and shit, but this person, in a way, is trying to come towards you, acting like they want to work with you, acting like they're giving you support. That's what it's looking like, bro, to be real. Look like this person wants to act like they want to give you some support 
and deepen the attraction, like deepen the, you know, relationship between you two and shit. Um, but yeah, this is definitely, uh, could be in the reverse. So, I mean, I feel like, you know, they're lying about the one, the deepen the attraction and shit like that. And uh, having support from the partner, they're going to lie about, you know, having love for you and shit like that. And continue on with the plan, how it was going before, just to get you out of money. That's what they were doing before. They're a knight that wanted to be a king. Type shit, weak ass. Like, this nigga. Uh, yeah, but this could be your sibling, bro, to be real with you. Brother or sister. You know what I mean? Type of shit, bro. Crazy ass bitch. Crazy ass nigga. Sick ass shit. <laughs> All together. <laughs> yeah, damn. So we go, we go, whatever. It's with that shit. Um, I'm ready now. Uh, can you give me the intentions of this Knight of Cups, please, sir? Please give me the intentions of the Knight of Cups. Shit, Bernie. <laughs> We have the nine of wands, Brody. What a nine of clubs. So this person, um, well, the nine of wands represents continuing the battle, having endurance, um, could represent like physical strength. This person could be working out or shit, whatever, whatever the fuck. Um, uh, it represents um, being determined though, and it could represent a sudden windfall of money and achievement. So I guess uh, I might clarify it real quick, but I guess this person is like, you know, they're very determined on, I guess, coming towards you and, you know, sprinkling the windfall of money over you and, and they um, want to have achievement as far as, you know, wanting to come towards you with that. Um, but yeah, this is most likely a person that think money solve everything, little emotions, like childish in their emotions, but you know, they admire you and shit, so they want to come towards you with that. And uh, yeah, they're definitely determined to do that, I guess. Um, but I'm gonna clarify it real quick. Clarify the nine of wands, please, Stan. Stan, please clarify the nine of wands. Clarify the nine of wands, please, spirit. Yeah, clarify the nine of wands, please. I mean, this one is currently. We have the four of cups. Yeah, so with the nine of wands, they uh, are determined to have this, like to take the leadership, like I said, and have the successful marriage, which will give you, you know, that second chance. That's what they they really want to do that or whatever, right? Cool. We also, oh, uh, we're clarifying that with the four of cups. That represents turning inwards of this person, like, I guess, going with their, um, it represents also uh, emotional stability or whatever. Um, it could represent ignoring positives and having apathy or whatever, but I'm not really feeling that to be real. Like this person is either like focused, they drawing them where, you know, going within and shit, uh, wanting to have emotional stability and they definitely see that with, you know, you and shit like that. Um, it does also represent travel. So this person wants to travel towards you, obviously. And it represents change of how, home or whatever. So this person could, you know, want to move in together with you and shit like that. Uh, and with, you know, this being out here, this person could want to either give you a home or they could already have a home and want you to move with them. Or, you know, they want to come where you at and move with you and shit like that. So you take it how you take that, but goddamn, I mean, if the person is, 
you know, they're determined, but are they going to come is the question for one. And then, you know, so we're going to definitely pull what's holding them, what's holding this person back real quick. And, uh, yeah, but that's what's up. Like, that's what's up as far as the energy. But remember, this person was paid to, you know, leave you or shit. You got to remember that, bro. Like, that's not... Yeah, I know it's past energy and this person has went inward. That's what I'm saying. They have went inwards and they're wanting to get away from the disharmony and the, you know, superficial, materialistic bullshit and shit like that. You feel me? So, it is what it is. Goddamn. So, yeah. We're going to pull what's holding this person back and then we're going to pull an outcome. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry, y'all. Uh, hold up. Yo. <laughs> All right. What's holding the Knight of Cups back, Spirit? What is holding back the Knight of Cups from coming towards the collective? Spirit, what, what is holding the Knight of Cups back from coming towards the collective? Okay. Damn. Okay, we got three. Fuck. <laughs> Told you this was going to be a deep ass reading, and I like it like that. It's my deepest reading yet, I would think. So, we have the. Three of Swords or the Three of Spades. We also have the Five of Cups or the Five of Hearts. And we have the Ace of Clubs or the Ace of Wands. So, what's holding? Excuse me, sorry. The Three of uh, Spades, that represents miscommunication or misunderstanding. You know, fights and breakups. So, they're definitely, you know, fighting and breaking up. It does represent a third party affecting the relationship. So, uh, it, uh, yeah, if I am with a third party that, you know, step, you know, it's affecting the relationship, obviously, you feel me? Um, hold up. We got the Five of Cups as well, or the Five of Hearts. Uh, that represents loss and despair you know, jealousy, uh, grief and sadness. It could represent, uh, you know, loss in finances or death. Or it could be like a literal death so this person could, you know, have, you know, witnessed a death or, you know, had a death of someone close to them or something like that. My condolences out to, you know, that person. Uh, you know, pray for these people, bro. At the end of the day, that's all you really can do. Especially if you're not gonna deal with these individuals anymore, or shit. Um, but yeah, they could have had, you know, went through lost grief and despair, and shit like that. Um, and they could be going through miscommunication with a third party, or the third party could have died or some shit. Like I'm just being honest, but they could be breaking up with a third party. That's what I'm saying. Like, not trying to be like too negative on that uh, but you also have the ace of uh, wands or the ace of um, clubs and that represents uh, a new idea you know business action or whatever uh, passion for sure or a new love affair um, and wealth prosperity it could represent unexpected money but it could represent like money coming and going or whatever. So the way that I am seeing this is they're arguing with a third party over money as well. You know what I mean? Uh, this person could be going through it with a third party about, you know, uh, like assets, shit like that. Um, the money is coming and going at the moment though. Um, that's what it looks like, maybe. But 
somebody they could be arguing with somebody else over their wealth and prosperity like maybe these are the third parties these two individuals it could be more individuals of course definitely the five is sticking out that six of course came out all the time so it could be up to six individuals that you know had this person held back um yeah arguing with the third party or third parties over um you know like this person is having ideas of you know starting a business with you possibly of having you know it's passion and shit a new love affair so they want new love with you and you know all of that shit wealth and all that good ass shit and uh this person is in loss in despair though about I guess, you know, you maybe not though, maybe not though. I don't really feel that in general. Uh, this person could be sad about not being with you though. Um, but it does open to jealousy. So they're jealous. These people or you know, the people that they're, you know, fighting with and shit in this uh three of swords energy, that this um communication and shit that third party does, you know, they're fighting and breaking up with that person and that person is jealous or it could be because the people are jealous you feel me and uh yeah <laughs> about the fact that they want to have this love with you so that's what's holding them back the fights and shit the separation period all of that shit but i mean it is what it is we go pull we go pull one more clarify on this fuck it and then we go pull the outcome spare one more on the three of swords, five of uh, hearts, and the ace of clubs, please. There we go. We have the king of swords and the two of um, wands. The king of swords represents a person, uh, that is introspective, ethical, a good communicator. They're stern and shit. Uh, good, uh, like they're professional, good at their job, highly motivated. Uh, but they're also like self-serving and self, you know, like they're selfish and shit. Um, can represent spying. You know, those are negative vibrations and shit like that. Um, I use that to clarify, you know, that. So these people could be spying on that individual, bro, possibly, well, mo these people are definitely spying on you, all three of them spying on your ass. They looking dead at your ass. But as you can see, like it's looking towards this way. So the, these people or like the third party itself, uh, it could be a person that's in masculine energy, could represent a father figure, or it could be a mother figure that's in masculine energy, whatever the case, but definitely someone um, could represent an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius or whatever. And, uh, yeah, but, um, yeah, that's, that, that person is selfish and shit. And this person is spying on this person probably, um, well, most likely and shit. Uh, it does also represent planning and preparation. It represents delays and waiting. So obviously this person is causing delays in the, uh, night of hearts. I mean, yeah, the Knight of Cups life and shit. Uh, this person is uh, spreading malicious gossip about this Knight of Cups, probably to, you know, their circle over there and shit like that. But they're definitely planning and preparing for something. You know what I mean? Possibly with this, you know, taking the person finances and shit to be real with you, bro. To be completely real with you. And that's what this person is going through. That's why they're, you know, that's why they're going through all of that. And that's why, that's what's holding them back, this individual right here. And it could be a father figure. So it could be their father, you know, or someone that played a father role in their life type shit, or it could be their mother. You know what I mean? Or someone that played a mother figure role, but, you know, this is just energy. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yes. That's what's holding this person back from coming towards you or shit like that. So we damn near, to, you know, ran through this little scenario of the current energies and shit. Let's pull it out. Come, let's get the fuck up out of here. We've been here long enough, man. <laughs> 
Spirit, what is the outcome of this situation, please? God damn. I guess oh, we have the knight. We're going to have to clarify. We have the knight of swords. That represents uh, a rebel uh, that fights for a cause. Uh, <laughs> could be sarcastic, but they're intelligent. Uh, they're on a mission, single-minded, so they're one, you know, one-trap-minded, which can, you know, double-edged sword on that. Um, but they're clever. But it could also represent a hostile, jealous individual. And once again, these are swords, so it could represent, you know, uh, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, but, you know, they can have it in their chart in the predominant position. So, uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, we're going to we're gonna clarify that because this could still... Oh. Hold on, yeah, let's clarify that shit real quick. <laughs> clarify the Knight of Swords, please. Clarify this knight of swords. Yeah, that should come. Let me grab. We have the four swords or the four spades. Now that represents uh, recuperation, recovery, contemplation. You know what I mean? Taking the time out. Um, but it could also represent small worries and problems, uh, money difficulties, hitting a personal low. Um, Broken promises, <laughs> yeah. So, what it's looking like to me is this person is looking and possibly this is still the energy of this night of, uh, <coughs> excuse me, but this is just in the current energy or whatever. This is still the Knight of Cups energy to me um, with this, this is what I'm saying though, and this is possibly clarifying more on that. With this being a father or a mother figure, um, or a father or a mother, um, just masculine energy and shit, they're fighting with each other. Yeah. And like I just said, with this, these could possibly be, you know, the mother or father and the uh, son or daughter, you know what I mean? With these two. You feel me? But this person has a feminine energy, so yeah, boom, and this person has masculine energy, but this could be, you know, the child of this per this could be the child of this person, right? We established that, right? Which obviously, um Yeah, that's that, but that these people could be your family, cause this came out with the ten, you know, to start out. Ten of uh hearts, ten of uh cups, so yeah. These, these, those two were most likely your family, right? And this night, this could be their parent, <laughs> one of their parents, or possibly both, whatever the case, but this is one of their parents that's holding them back from coming towards you or whatever because of the money shit, right? <laughs> and that that's just, that's dope how that played out because, I mean, I know my situation shit like that, but I'm just saying, boom. Um, yeah so this person could be trying to recover you know from money difficulties and shit it, it's small um, right, but this person could be at a personal low and either they're uh like going to come to you with broken promises um hold up let me see uh yeah they could be trying to come to you with broken promises and shit uh but they're taking the time off. Oh, maybe. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So this person could have, with this whole situation, it was broken promises type shit. You know what I mean? And that's what it's looking like to me. Um, yeah, but it was broken promises. Like, probably involved with most of this shit, to be real. But this person most likely is recovering from all the broken promises from these individuals and shit. Because they went from taking money to leave or whatever to wanting to build with you and had a second chance with you and da, da 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 And this person is like, nah, you gotta, you know, do this for family, do that for family, blah, blah, blah. And 
I mean, if, you know, if your flame end up or, you know, your high level soulmate is, uh, that person ends up watching this, then I would hope that this person, uh, at the very least, comes in with the truth and fucking, um, you know, good intention, bro. Because we, I mean, we already pulled the intentions. That's, you know, all good and dandy, but they think money just solves everything. They don't really, not really looking at the love shit. Uh, or they probably thought that in the past because we did see the emotional stability all that other shit, they want that and they know they can get that with you and like, look, you know, blah, blah, blah um, but as an outcome for this shit it's looking like, you know, at least at the moment it's looking like this person is contemplating on things and trying to recover from all of the shit that went on and shit like that but they might be going through a little bit of money problems and shit, dealing with the mom figure, you know, like, or the dad figure, I'm sorry about that, with the king of swords and shit energy. So, yeah, that's what's going on there. And I'm going to look at the bottom of the deck real quick, and we have the queen of swords. <laughs> what the fuck? <sighs> we have the queen of swords, man. And I'm going to have to clarify that real quick before we get out of here. Ryan ain't going to lie to you, bro. Because <laughs> it still is a part of the outcome of it. Of all the shit at the moment or whatever. And the Queen of Swords. Um, so like I said, I already said that this could be both their parents, bro. Both of your flame or your, you know, this person that wants to come towards you. I should say that. Um, yeah, it could be both of their parents or whatever. Um, but... I'm gonna, uh, you know, clarify that real quick. So, we have a uh, queen of swords uh, that represents a sharp, intelligent, ruthless individual, uh, a truth seeker, efficient person with no tolerance for stupidity. Uh, could be a widow or divorced woman. Uh, could be an air sign woman or someone with, you know, air predominantly in their chart. Um, yeah, that's what that is, but we'll definitely have to pull on that because the way I'm seeing it, but let's see something real quick. More on the Queen of Swords, please, Spirit. I mean, I And then we have the King of Cups and the Three of Cups. This is the deepest reading I've done so far, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> All right. So the King of Hearts uh, or the King of Cups represents a wise, tolerant, diplomatic uh, individual. Uh, it's a person that feels like patient or whatever. Uh, they give wise advice. Possible alcoholic though or Addict, you know what I mean? Like they have addictions. I ain't gonna say addict going that far, but we'll see. Um, but their actions match their words and they are a person that shows rather than tells. And once again, this person is a uh, king of cups and cups represents water. So it could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, and it's like king energy. So maybe in the past, this person was a, Knight of Cups, bro. And like this is pulling on most of this person's energy to be real. But yeah. Uh, uh they were a Knight of Cups and now or you know, maybe in the near future, whatever the case, they're gonna be the King of Cups. You feel me? Um and we have the three of diamonds or the three of pentacles that represents teamwork, uh, improving your skills, collaborations and shit, focusing on work. It could be um, a legal letter though. So it's like be tactful with others to avoid disputes and shit like that. Um, this person could be, you know, going through a legal situation with these individuals. With this, It could be going through the legal situation with this queen of swords. So the outcome, yeah. If, okay, so King of, <laughs> King of Hearts, me. King of Cups. Boo-boo. Because this is just energy. And in my situation, if 
boo boo if you are watching this my love if you're watching this this person is going to take you to court now you could be arguing with both of these individuals it could be your parents and shit sorry this could be your parents and shit buddy but it could be anybody your father mother figure you know some people that you look up to dog whatever the case but uh, I think I know how I'm reading it. So either both of these people, but you're arguing with both. It seems like this person, this queen of swords, is going to take you to court, most likely. That's what that's looking like, G. And, um, yeah, that's what that's looking like, kind of. But for a collective, um, this also could be that this person wants to, like the outcome of this is the King of Cups coming to you though, wanting to collaborate with you regardless and all this other shit. You feel me? And uh, yeah, they could be going through this legal shit or, you know, <laughs> that's what that is, bro. So just send out your prayers to Yo, you know, how I love a soulmate, twin, whatever. If you, you know, still are on the journey or still love them at the very least, bro. Like, we ain't bad people, bro. At the end of the day, this person is definitely, if you're wondering if this person received their karma, they definitely have. Um, I'm pretty sure they've learned a lot through this shit. And, like, this person got the sword, you know what I mean? Like, to his head, like, he, he willing to, you know, he want to be with you at like, all costs type shit. I ain't gonna go that far, but I'll say that. Um, yeah, then you got the three. Uh, yeah, so just beware if you're this King of Cups about, you know, all of that going on, dog. Just be aware, bro. Um, but yeah, that's looking like the outcome for this situation, bro. Uh, in the current whole pool of this. And we're gonna do one more for the actual spirit. How are we gonna uh, end this? How are we gonna end this spirit? We use damn near more than half the deck, bro. I'm, I'm proud of this spirit. Uh, but yes, uh, how are we gonna end this spirit? What y'all? What you want the collective to know? What do you want the collective to know? And then we'll get out of here. Spirit, what do you want the collective to know? <laughs> well, man, I ain't even gonna lie to you. This is what Spirit is saying at the very least. We have the Queen of Cups, man. And you know that is the collective, bro. The collective isn't looking at none of this shit. But, yeah, like I did all of this. I mean, hopefully the right people get to see this as far as, you know, who needs to see it. But this is, yeah, the outcome. You got the king and queen, bro. So the king is definitely looking at you, but yeah. Um, this is definitely, possibly a twin. Uh, spirit is saying that you're the queen of cups and always remember that. You're going to get your you're gonna get what you deserve regardless, regardless. But the queen of cups is a like compassionate individual, bro. They're emotional, they're definitely dependable, empathetic. So we have empathy, you know. That's kind of what got us into this whole situation in general to be real, but you know, still an empathetic, good person, bro. Um, yeah. Uh, still has their own problems though. Good listening and someone to turn to. Good nature. Uh, good mother figure or, you know, father figure. This is our energy or whatever. And this is, you know, in my situation, I'm still a male. You feel me? So that's what's up with that. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, bro. To me, it's looking like king and queen. Um, but yeah. That's what that is, man. We're gonna keep being this warm individual, taking care of what we gotta take care of. Um, and fuck it, bro. Let's pull one more. We are, we did it for all the other shit. Gonna clarify this Queen of Cups, and then then we're gonna get the fuck up out of here. 
Excuse me. One more on it. <laughs> Nine the cups, bro. Uh, so, man, the way that I'm seeing it, though, even though it's like a twin situation, I'm gonna be real. The way I'm seeing this, I'm gonna tell you what it is first, though. Uh, it represents satisfaction. I mean, sorry, satisfaction, sensual pleasure, and spiritual growth. Uh, fulfillment for sure, and being alone but not lonely. So I feel like fulfillment is there regardless. This is the energy that um, the collective has been in, and it's going to remain that regardless of anything that happens. That's how I'm saying that. Continue when to grow spiritually and moving forward, regardless, no matter how it comes. We're all like, we're all a collective, man, but we can choose how we choose is free will, bro. Just remember your, remember who you are, the Queen of Cups and the Nine of Cups for sure, bro. Like, we're good by ourselves, bro, um, for sure. So don't let this, can't, like, don't let them be on the King of Pentacles shit trying to just give you this money. But the way that I see it is, like, even going through all of this, they could possibly lose that with the parents and shit, and they could be throwing you with nothing. You never know. Um, uh, it's looking like either y'all gonna get together and it's gonna be sexual pleasure, but I feel like you're already in that energy regardless. So, yeah, man, just know that everything will work in your favor, however that comes. Just know that whatever endeavors you're working on, that's going to work out regardless. Keep working hard towards this Ace of Pentacles, bro. And, you know, keep grinding. As far as the, uh, as far as these two people, they're definitely in despair. They want to come back, bro. And, you know, this person wants to be fickle with you. They want to be wishy-washy, act like they're there for you, but they're really in despair. And they're going to keep being in despair because, bro, don't, don't fuck with this person and this person either, bro. These two people are karmics, bro. And you will understand that if, you know, you understand that as far as this uh, twin and shit, this could possibly, like, I wouldn't even call them, like, divine. You know how, like, every, you know, people say divine feminine, divine masculine. Uh, this person, they want divine, doing want the shit, like, taking that money to leave and doing all that other shit. But, you know, one twin is always more awakened than the other. I feel like spirit is just identifying to you that, if you had a question on whether or not that was your twin, then yes, it, it definitely is. And your flame wants to return to you because they see that you're in this energy and shit like that. But we all have free will. And this person would definitely have to, like you and the King Cups energy and shit. I mean, this could be in the future, whatever the case, blah, blah, blah. But um, yeah, this, this person go have to grow up. And I mean, their emotions seem to be there at least at that point. I don't know whether or not this is future. And it, I'm saying the outcome, so this could be like future energy. This person's going to be, you know, in this energy trying to come towards you or shit. But right now, they're in this not a cups energy because honestly, they're going through all this other shit. And I feel like Spirit wants to highlight that as a fact of like, they're definitely going with it and working on themselves so that they can come to you full. And like, at least as full as they perceive you to be. But if uh, if the if a if one of y'all if sorry if the masculine is cross watching this shit, bro, like obviously you know this Queen of Cups isn't um, isn't just mental and shit like that. If they were fucking with you before you took that money to leave and all that other funny shit, bro, um, then yeah, you feel me? Like, but if you knew the plan was to leave. This person does too. You tried all that, and then you see all of this. Like, at the end of the day, you could be waking up to the fact that this is your twin for real, for real. All this other funny shit. Um, but I mean, come correct, bro. That's the I guess that's a start. And I mean, this person ain't looking at you. This person ain't really worried about anything over there. Even though this person's very empathetic, and they probably do still love you. Most of the, the collective out here. Whether they want to admit it or not, do still love their twin and shit like that. Um, but at the end of the day, you got to hold people accountable for the shit that they do. I feel like this Queen of Cups definitely is on that wave. If they want in the past, they're definitely on it now. You feel what I'm saying? So, yeah. <laughs> that has been the reading for today. It was a beautiful reading. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you, Spirit, God. Thank you every good positive force 
for driving this reading in the right direction, the correct direction. This has been a very insightful fucking reading. I think it's my deepest reading yet, and it's a love reading, which, I mean, as far as, like, want to know what's going on in your personal life, for, you know, the collective that resonates with this, and, you know, this has provided a lot of clarity and answers. Definitely. But I love y'all so much. It's a beautiful Thursday, bro. Let's get out here and get this bread. If you work today, if you don't work or you're in a situation where you can't or whatever the, whatever the case, bro, keep grinding, Jack. Like, keep getting your shit done. Uh, we're just in the energy of improvement and improving. And it seems like if you were, you know, wondering about your twin, if you were hoping that your twin would get right and get they shit together, that's what it looks like they're trying to do. They're definitely focused on you. They want to come towards you. Um... You know what I mean? But just keep focusing on yourself. Like, that's what this Twin Flame journey is about, honestly. Like, that's probably why most of us got in this journey, to be real, um, to grow ourselves, to help grow that person. Because that's what, you know, when you start your journey, that's what you're told, da, 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 da. Especially when you start researching and learning about twins and shit like that. The more you grow, whether it, you know, it takes time, <coughs> whatever. But, excuse me, the more you go, grow, Y'all share the same soul, so you're going to cause that person to grow whether they want to or not. And that's basically what the situation. This person was superficial in the past. This person left you for some bullshit. Not, probably not understanding the severity of the situation. And they probably were an asshole that didn't care about people's feelings. But now they are seeing shit for what it is. And it's only because of your growth and how they view you. This person that's admiring you. But you take it how you take it. We're all at different parts of our journey and shit. And all of us aren't meant to get back with the individual. But, you know, we get on this journey and realize our actual destinies. And if it's to help wake people up, that's exactly what the fuck you're doing. If it's to exude that love and teach people that, you know, it is real, genuine, loving people out here that want to love and shit like that, then you've completed that. You know what I mean? Especially in this situation. Um... Yeah, bro. And that is very wonderful. But I'm going to get the fuck up out of here. Peace.